Good morning. Today's lesson is 6.2. Convert units of capacity. Our central question, how can you use ratio reasoning to convert from one unit of capacity to another? Capacity. It measures the amount a container can hold when filled. In the customary measurement system, some common units of capacity are fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. You can convert between units by multiplying the given units by the appropriate conversion factory. This chart is going to be essential for doing your work today. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, four cups equals one quart, and four quarts equals one gallon. Let's unlock the problem. A dairy cow produces about 25 quarts of milk each day. How many gallons of milk does the cow produce each day? Well, how are quarts and gallons related? So we're gonna look up here. Gallon, one gallon is four quarts, right? Why can you multiply a quantity by one gallon over four quarts? So we're going back to our ratios without changing the value of a quantity. Well, what you can do is you can use the identity property of multiplication. One gallon equals four quarts, so one over four equals one. So if you're going to convert 25 quarts to gallons, first you're going to choose a conversion factor. Think, I'm converting gallons from quarts, and I know that one gallon equals four quarts. So I'm going to use the rate one over four, just like we used the rates in the last chapter. Multiply 25 quarts by the conversion factor. So I've got 25 times one over a quarter. Remember, whenever I have a whole number, I just add a one to the bottom, right? So we've got our 25 quarts, and we've got one gallon over four quarts. And then what they did is they cross multiplied, right? So let's see, so what do we get? When we get 25 times one is 25. So 25 times one is 25. Four times one is four. And then since we have the top number on the top, four goes into five, 25 six times with one left over. So it's six and one quarter, right? because four times six is 24, and that would be one left over. So we're gonna get six and one quarter. So six and one quarter gallon equals six gallons and one quart, right? So the cow is gonna produce six gallons and one quart of milk each day. Now, how many pints of milk does a cow produce each day? So choose a conversion factor. Think, I'm converting pints from quarts. Well, I know that two pints equals one quart. So I'm gonna use the conversion rate two over one. Then I'm gonna multiply 25 to get that conversion rate. So we've got 25 times two over one. So 25 times two, I'm gonna do that over here because they kind of just did it for you. 25 times two is 50 and one times one is one. So I'm gonna get 50 over one. So my answer is gonna be 50 pints. So the cow produces 50 pints of milk. Okay, let's do metric units. You can use a similar process to convert metric units of capacity just like metric units of length. Metric units of capacity are related by the powers of 10. So just like we did yesterday. So for now, we're doing capacity. So we've got 1,000 milliliters equals one liter, 100 centimeters equals one liter, 10 decimeters equals one liter, one deciliter equals 10 liters, one halliter equals 100 liters, and one kiloliter equals um, 1,000. So you notice that they are um, powers of 10, right? Going up and down. I'm either multiplying powers of 10 or dividing powers of 10. So example, a piece of Native American pottery has a capacity of 1.7 liters. What is the capacity of pot in deciliters? What is the capacity in milliliters? So use a conversion factor. 1.7 kiloliters equals, and we got to find out. So we're going to choose the conversion factor. We're going to say 1 tenth, 1 over 10, right? And you know that because that, so here's my decaliter and there's my liters. It's one over 10, right? So if I multiply 1.7 by the conversion factory, 1.7 by the conversion factory, one over 10, then I'm gonna get 0.17, right? Because 1.7 times one is, um, and it is uh, 1.7, and then I have to divide by 10, which essentially, it's just moving your decimal over one space, right? Taking this and moving my decimal over one space. That's all I'm doing when you divide by 10. So the 1.7 liters is equivalent to 0.17. So here they kind of took that chart above, and instead of writing, you know, 
they had the killer on the top and they went down here. What they've done is they've done them in a horizontal line so that you can see the powers of 10. If I go this way, I'm multiplying by 10 every time I go this way. And if I go this way, I'm dividing by 10 every time I go this way, right? So if I'm going liters to milliliters, there's liters and there's milliliters. So I'm multiplying by 10, 10, and 10, right? So that's multiplying by... Um, so that would be moving my decimal three places, right? Instead of just moving it one or two. So if I'm, again, let me show that. So if I'm going from liters to milliliters, I'm moving my decimal place one, two, three places to the right, just like this. So see, there's my decimal. Since there's no zero, so I move it one, there's no numbers, so I'm just gonna add my zeros and keep going, right? So 1.7 liters is equal to 1,700 milliliters. Now, it asks over here in this math talk, and I know I don't normally do these, but this one's kind of important. Why can you why can you not convert between units in the customary system by moving the decimal point to the left or the right? Well, that's because the customary system, unlike the metric system, the units aren't related to each other by powers of 10. So the metric system, all I have to do is just move the decimal over or this way, because it's, it's related to each other by the powers of 10. But things like cups to pints and those are not related by the powers of 10, so that's why I have to do the conversion right. I can't just move my decimal point over. Now, describe a method. Describe how you would convert kilometers into milliliters. There's kilometers, there's milliliters. Well, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move my decimal six places this way, right? So, possible answer is to multiply the kilometers by 10 to the sixth power or 1 million, or simply move your decimal place over six places. Okay, let's do a couple more. So if I have five quarts to cups, well, my conversion factor is gonna be um, four cups for every one quart, because there's four cups and one quart. So knowing that, five, I'm gonna take the five quarts, which is five times four is 20, and 20 over one, that's gonna give me 20 cups, right? Um, liters to hectoliters, right? I'm gonna move my decimal over, right? Because if you look back at that conversion chart that I had before, I move my decimal. And because um, liters going to hectoliters, I'm gonna move my decimal point over. Whoops, where's my pen? I move my decimal point over. So here it is, it started here. I move it over one, two spaces, okay? And if I had that chart in front of me, you'd be able to see that. But hopefully you'll be able to flip back and forth when you're in your own book. Okay, I would like you to do the rest of the problems on your own or with a partner, and if you need me, I'm always there for you. All right, good luck.